It's Saturday, August 16, 2025. And as promised, I'm back out here at the nukes and I'm going to put, a, well, I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to uh, probably, I have to check them out first, but I'm, I'm gonna put one pad of Formic Pro on those uh, nukes that I had added a second box to a couple days ago. So hopefully they've populated that box and they're ready to go and I can just throw this on there. I don't know how many there are. There's eight or 10 maybe. And then I'm going to add a dry lock pad to the single nukes. And I think I'm gonna have an exception there. Some of these at this end really weren't very big. So I'm not gonna stress them that way. Uh, so I'll have to exclude maybe I don't know, six or eight again of those, and then move on to the, the rest that are singles. So it's not a real warm day out here. Uh, still too warm for long pants. <laughs> uh, it's 17 C, so it's not super warm. A little bit of a breeze, uh, mostly uh, overcast high cloud, but otherwise it's really a lovely day. And uh, it's a good day for this. Uh, I like to have a little breeze when I'm working with the dry lock pads. Well, even with the Formic Pro, because, you know, then, then it's predictable where the fumes are going to go. So, uh, um, it's, uh, people might say, well, wear your respirator. This is not a bad idea to wear the respirator, although I wear that as little as possible because it's very uncomfortable. It's hard to breathe uh, with the respirator. But formic acid is different than oxalic acid vapor. Um, formic acid uh, vapor is a gas, whereas oxalic acid vapor is not really a gas. It's, it's just very tiny particles. Um, and if you get a whiff of formic acid, it doesn't make it far. Your body won't breathe it in. It just gags you. Uh, whereas oxalic acid, you can easily breathe that stuff and uh, it's not good as you can imagine so i'm going to get my veil on and i'll check a few of these um at this end which i think uh, the, these if i skip any these are going to be the ones i skip and i'll probably just go to oxalic acid vapor on these uh we'll we'll see i haven't made up my mind exactly what i'm going to do with these so here we go working with these dry lock pads and, and uh, formic acid, there's not very much in this box, but I like to have some baking soda handy. If, because the stuff is colorless, it looks like water. And if you ever wonder if there's acid on, you know, a tool or your hands or whatever, you put a little bit of this baking soda on it. And if it, uh, if it foams up, then you know there's acid on it. And, and you know the, the baking soda will begin to neutralize the acid as well so let's uh let's check a few and i will make a plan on where to start i think i need to call in my helpers to come and help clean up my apiary every year it's the same thing it becomes a big mess at just a certain time of year it becomes time to put the mating nuke equipment away Okay, so I think that would be okay for one pad. Well, probably. It's gonna, gonna take out some brood anyway, right? Now it's tiny, we won't do that one. Okay, well I can do these three. Now, I'm not gonna tell you uh, the details about how to use this because if you're going to use it you need to read the directions you need to read and understand the application rules and that's about as easy as it is I won't bore you with that. 
I'm just going to work down the line with those pads and then I'll bring you in when I start the Formic Pro. Well, that went nice and fast. There were a few I didn't put it on. This is one of them. Um, so these, I don't need to open them up, but I'll just have a look. There's pretty good population here. I might need my smoker, which is right there. Because I need to lift this box off. They really stick to those plastic queen excluders. Okay. Warmic pad on there. I'll have to ask manufacturer why they feel the need to attach the two pads together. I imagine it's for their convenience in manufacturing because it sure as heck ain't for my convenience in usage. It's very inconvenient. I'm putting one on these sixes. There they go. As soon as I put it on, they start fanning. That's the idea. Fan that. Fan that uh, gas uh, fumes, I guess, around. I'll have to take this to the next one. Not a very warm day, so they could jump on me. He didn't like that. Now, wouldn't you know, I've got an odd number of hives here that need treating. So I have a choice. I can either not treat the last one I can waste one pad and treat it, or I can treat it with a dry lock pad. What do you think I should do? Pretty light box, wasn't sure what was in it. Okay, I have to ponder my conundrum here. So, I don't like the idea of not treating them. I could just start on oxalic acid vapor. Um, although, you know, you heat up the thing just for one or two colonies. I have those down at that end. I should probably use an oxalic acid on. Uh, if I use dry lock pad, they need to be changed every three or four days. So you need to put another one on three or four days. Put about four rounds, maybe five rounds. Uh, so there's that. I don't want to do that. I, I need to save myself work wherever I can. So I'm tempted to just 
waste a Formic Pro pad and open up another pack. That's too bad. Just the luck of the draw, right? It's a 50-50 thing, but I'll bet you on average 80% of the time it's not going to work out in your favor. The thing about Formic Pro is uh, it's one and done. Like you just put it on and come back two weeks later. There we go. Thanks for joining me for that. Pretty boring, pretty simple. But that's what I like about management, when it's simple. Simple and fast. The easier management is, the more bees I can run. Which, uh, honestly, I'm finding to be more of a challenge as I age. So. We have to keep things simple because I don't want to give up bees. Okay, I think I'm going to spend some time cleaning up since I'm here and I'm not all wore out. <laughs> I'm going to clean up some of these boxes and lids. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun.